So you uh, believe the standards are the right standards that we ought to have, and you believe they work. Why do you believe that? I believe they're a step in the right direction because okay. of the way they were developed. They were developed over the course of several years mm -hmm. um, by educators, education experts, who have looked at the learnings of the most high, highest achieving states in the U.S. and what they've done in other countries, and they were thoughtfully and carefully created. There were public comment periods, and uh, they weren't thrown together at the last minute. Okay. It, was, it was the thought of, it was, it's the product of a very long process with lots of stakeholders at the table. Okay. Um, one thing I do know is the standards we have now aren't working so well. So <laughs> when well, I think it, you start it, having a conversation the about the, the problem, field though. testing, no, they are not the whole problem. And I think that, you know, if we start to talk about learning standards being a panacea, that's not. Yeah, because I think not, we all can agree that, that America not, has some educational of, challenges. We agree on that, right? Right. But why are we necessarily going back again to this conversation? Well, it's the wrong standards in the classroom or it's the teachers that are not doing their jobs. What I, mean, I don't no think we're saying. going that way. I think but, what, but, we're, what we're trying to, we're debating the merits on whether this is going to be going to help shift and create the system so that teachers are actually liberated to teach at the high critical thinking level. And I believe that the Common Core standards are doing how that. About, how, how do you liberate teachers by requiring them to follow more standards? So if you're, how is that more. liberation? Going back, going back so let's go talk about testing, yeah. right? I mean, so if you're, you're, be, you're saying that second. right now, currently, under the current Illinois State standards, teachers can't teach critical thinking? No, of course they can. They, can. they can choose they to. Do. Of course they, they can. They can choose to, right? They but do. I do know that teachers also feel that pressure of, well, if my if my principal walks in and mm -hmm. I'm not doing exactly what is being scripted to yeah. me, then I'm going to be held but accountable to that. But if you read most of the common but core standards, most the, of them are the, not critical thinking. But if you look at the they common aren't. core standard, mm -hmm. and if you're saying, okay, my students have to not only solve this math problem, mm -hmm. now justify why is that math problem correct. But most of the common core standards are when not you, critical And then thinking. when that principal walks in, justify. I mean, how does a teacher teaching? How does a teacher have to teach a student to justify something? That is a high level of higher order of thinking, and that's going to liberate a teacher to say, you know what, this one way of just drill and kill is not going to work. Me as a teacher, I have to up my game. So, you're, so your, argument, your, your argument is Common Core before, is, is going to be better than No Child Left Behind. That's your argument. Because so that's, that's kind of what I'm hearing so you say. Anything would be better than No Child so Left Behind. So No Child Left Behind just... <laughs> so, so, but, but see, that's, that's a comparison point. It's a, it's a weird your apples and oranges comparison. Yeah. So No Child Left Behind was just a law saying that kids must be proficient. <laughs> And then I'm going to let the individual states decide what proficient means. Mm -hmm. So what is every state doing so they don't start failing is that they're going to create the lowest sure. standards possible with the lowest um, expectations for our kids mm -hmm. so that we don't have that many kids fail. Okay. And so now what Common Core is saying is let's actually up, you know, raise our game a little bit. Let's actually say what do kids actually need to be able to do, able to know, able okay. to think, and able to Justify. To get a job. No. To, to be successful in college or in their career. What about successful in life? What about successful in life? I have to ask a question. There's not question. anything Please. wrong with that necessarily. Let me ask you a question. One of the most important, <clears throat> one of the mo I would argue that one of the most important pieces of knowledge and dispositions and, that and skills for kids to learn is, is creative thinking. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right. And it's in there is no creative thinking in the Common Core. There is no yeah. truly, when you go to schools that are truly mm -hmm. 21st century schools that have a transformative school paradigm and curriculum paradigm, right, that are really teaching critical and creative thinking, design thinking, mm -hmm. you don't see any of that no. in the common school. Well, None but, of it. And, and the assumption that you're you, making over there is that the, the common core standard is dictating what a teacher has to do. If a common core standard says students must be able to analyze a piece of historical text and draw conclusions from mm -hmm. that, that is a very broad okay. statement for a teacher now to say, okay, well, you know what? When I, I'm going to teach AP U.S. history, and I'm going to give you different documents and different primary sources and different okay. things to talk about the Civil War and the and the basis and the starts but of the Civil War. Okay, well, and now the okay. history it, it, it is that. sacred. But to his point, what about issues like empathy? What about compassion? Right, what about exactly. issues of, of morality? You know, Dr. King said very clearly that uh, that uh, knowledge and character were the goals of, the true goals of education. Well, look at Ted what, Kaczynski. But, I mean, he yes, was a guy that an is in jail and the instead that, of teaching at Berkeley. You're right, and that's the thing that makes me so angry about the, the, the government's idea that they can create these models for education, that they completely throw these things out. And when you talk about what people need in life, yes, they need to know how to do math problems. Yes, they need to be able to critically read Shakespeare, et cetera. But if you do not teach kids some level of empathy, some level of morality, some level of connection to a larger world, 
When we miss that boat, I think we miss the true heart of but education. How does the Common Core prevent that? Core prevent that? Yeah, it's not a part of this conversation that. at all. I'll tell you how it prevents that because it creates you boundaries. You get two seconds. It, it, it creates boundaries. And it basically yeah. says, okay. right now, there's the so much okay. discussion about the Common Core that right it basically now. says, oh, this is what stop. it's all about. I, know that we I, have create, stop. I create the floor. <laughs> we have to. I, I, I don't <laughs> know if we're going to stop. We're going to keep going. we got to stop taping. Thank you very much.